Well, I got this packed in here, but uh, I think I'm going to the anything. I'm going to fix the cylinder on my lift. Okay, so I got to take this engine off. It's got a dead cylinder. They brought me a battery. I'm going to go in there and put that up, put it on charge. It's like a 27 DC. That's good. It's got a lot of cranking amps. Whoa. So I'm just gonna get it prepped, you know, to, to be taken off. So I'll just. And of course it's all buried over there. So I'm gonna have to drag it out. Get it out of here so I can do this deal. I don't know where I'm gonna put everything. I gotta fix my cylinder, so I guess let me do that. Alright, I got some things out of the way. What the easiest thing to do is. I don't know how heavy this whole piece is. It might be easier to take this off or I don't know. to get a light or something so you can see this but down there I'm gonna have to get this pump out of here because those lines come up here and they go through you know this and that's how they were that's made so you know I don't know I have a hole there but maybe you know we do something I don't know but these lines is just easier to uh, disconnect from the pump. So I have to get the pump. And then like all this mess down here, it really kind of sucks. But I guess I get the pump up first, it's gonna be a big greasy mess. So I don't know, I'm not gonna be able to see that, me doing it, but I'm just gonna have to get rid of a bunch of cabling. I gotta get the uh, the harness cable goes over that way. I'm gonna drop it down. Maybe I get this tank out of here. I don't know. So yeah, there's just a whole bunch of stuff over here that's like in the way. Like I don't know what we're gonna do about this gas tank. Man, uh, I really don't know. And you kind of don't want to know really where to start. But um, I guess the, there's extra wire. I'm just gonna go ahead and float it down in here if I can somehow. And then I, I really don't know. I gotta get this through the hole. And, yeah, it's 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 a real mess. Really, it'd be nice to get this this tank out of here, but I don't know. It's got, it's 
got a lot of, I think it's got some gasoline in it. So, I'm going to get a pump. Go ahead and pump out what I can so I can get this out. Alright, just trying to get as much out of there as I can so I can get that tank out of the way. This is the blow I was dealt. So take, take a good gander at it because that is horrendous. But you can see now what we're dealing with. And, uh, you know, see if we can't get it fixed up. Get this pump out of here. It looks like it's just loose. I don't even think it's bolted down, which would be good. Um, but here we're gonna super clean this out. We're gonna super clean it. That's what we're gonna do. But I think the first thing, see if that's loose. If it is loose, maybe go ahead and get the lines off of it. Because like, you know, it's going to spill a bunch of oil in there, if, you know, and see how much oil is in this. Uh, get out my fluid extractor and extract all the oil out of that. Loosen the lines and get that out of here and have these lines right here all out. So I'm ready to lift the engine off. All right, I'm not even gonna fool with it. Uh, got a pan down there, got the pump sitting there, and now to get some line tools and go ahead and get my lines off. All right, I got some line tools out here. Hopefully, I don't know. We'll see what they, how easy or how hard they come off, and which ones they are. So it's not that, that's metric. That's too big. That's a half inch. I think some of them, if I remember right, were like three eighths or something. This is a 7 16 so This was my grapple Chandler's. Let's see if that fits on there. Yeah, I think that's maybe three eighths. That's a 10 by 12. That's a metric. That's a half. It's ain't that. All right. What is it? I got another set here. Maybe just a regular box wrench would be all right. Because we don't really care about it. I mean, we care about it, but we don't care about it. See what I got here. I got a 3 ace right here. Let's see if this works. Yep. Oh, yeah. That comes with it. That comes loose. I guess I don't like you to kink the hoses, but it won't hurt anything. That's a 7 16. I'm saying it's a, the other, next ones are halves. Let's see if we can just crack it with a regular half. Yeah. Work with me. Work with me. There it goes. Alright, those are loose. Now let's see if there's anything in it. Drain it. We'll have to crack that so it'll drain out, I guess. Oh. Some tie wraps kind of holding the, all of these guys in. I'm 
not shoot these lines, but it's going to be where it's going to be. Yeah, it's pretty bad. They got courage bolts holding the, this transom up. It's not good. A lot of debris in here about. So I guess the one thing to do is just get some gloves and try to get as much of the debris out. Clean it out, you know. It's a real pain in the old hooski. But we, this is we can I guess we can get some of these wires out of, out of here first though. Like this, they have to get pulled back through. This is no good. We can just cut it. Let's see how much I can pull out of here. I mean, this is all basically shot. You can see it like this just shot. And the wires underneath are still okay though. I mean, this is shot anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is completely shot. Whoa! Yeah, anyway, this is completely shot. Let's see. Alright, let me figure out my next game plan. Cause I want to try to get as much wire out of there as possible but then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna clean this out I think that's my next thing clean this out so when I am ready to go back with it I get it done and then we got we got to get our remote we got to get that all um, sussed out and you know pulled off and go ahead and send it back through the gunnel and get it out of there so I got two big projects and All right, well, this is the part where I have to put you up because I'm gonna fire up the garden hose and see if I can't rinse some of that out and make a big old mess in the process. So that's going pretty good so far. Um, you know, you could use a bunch of stuff to clean that out. Um, I got the super, super clean. So let's just make sure you get a good look at this before I do it. So you know how just how bad it is and how good we're gonna make it look. But the one thing I would say about this stuff is that uh, you know they did send me like some information that if you use it, you want it's pretty strong. So you you got some directions. You got some directions on how, you know, cause it's what I, they call caustic. And let me just grab it. So while we're talking about it, or I'm talking about it, and I come back and I can show you guys. But yeah, so they, they sent me a little nice letter, you know, and uh, uh, you know, at full strength, super clean is the most powerful, tough task, tough task, cleaner degreaser you can find. And when you dilute with water for everyday messes, super clean is the most cost effective cleaner you can find. Um, anyway, uh, it's got usage ratio, they got me this little chart acidic. There's your pH scale and then alkaline. And so super clean is 40 times stronger than the green product. And it's 10 times stronger than the next leading brand. So they're pretty, it's pretty up there. 
uh, full strength, but it tells you, you know, indoor, three parts of water, outdoor, you know, it tells you, gives you some ideas of what to clean, how to mix it. And one thing I'd say is just shake it up good before you use it. So you get it all good mixed up and it even says it. So shake it up real good and then all right, well, I made a little bit of a mess. But, uh, yeah, we cleaned it up. I mean, as good as I want. Like, I'm not going crazy. Because, you know, I... So, uh, we'll let them, if they want to clean it better, then that's good. But I tried to get at least the pumps clean, just to make sure they're going to work good. We're still draining. Probably got a little bit of cloggage going. Uh, like I said, it's not perfect, but at least it'll get us like in that ballpark where we need to be. And um, I guess the next thing I'm going to do is see if I can get this thing off and get it out of there. And yeah, it should be pretty easy. We got a couple of screws, but the little beauty piece comes off. So get my gun, zip that off real quick. Then I can pull my cables through and uh, my wire loom through and then you know maybe maybe Monday or so we can get to see if we can't get a new remote in there and anyway yeah get it figured out so this one I probably had a Johnson Evander tracker motor on it and uh, obviously they took that off and put this old motor on there, which now we're going to go to a Evanard's 48 Special, which uh, on that motor, you know, it would have been before Tracker. So anyway, hey, thanks for commenting, watching, and subscribing. Well, it's kind of the next morning. And uh, I got my neighbors putting some windows in. Uh, I got to put this ram on my uh, my lift. I bought a new ram from Harbor Freight. Which first it was like you know it's fifty nine bucks, and that was but that's a three ton. So I went back and paid another twenty dollars and got the eight ton. I'm starting slow again. I guess I always kind of start the morning slow. Get it out of my way. So I got one bolt that's kind of holding me up everything else is disconnected and ready to come out of there and i got new a new cylinder installed and should have let it down i left it overnight like that it's probably not good for it i know it's not good to pour it but i did it anyway so yeah that ended up cost me what 79 bucks because it's an eight time out of a three and what else i don't know just getting started for the day so all right i gotta get this off so where are we at let's see here uh i think i hose these down with some penetrating oil you know they'll probably turn all right uh and i got one bolt that's giving me it's hanging me at try to get that bolt out and they use these stu uh, stupid carriage bolt <laughs> I don't know where I have it they had it man I threw it away I don't remember oh no it's still in there actually I don't know if I can pull it out or not it be a real booger or a real joy because you got to stand on your head to get the bolt off down there you know they got carriage bolts, and once them are off, then I can I can pull this motor off. I mean, it's a clamp-on motor, but they had nine uh, 
What, what were they? Uh, three A's? Uh, oh. So it's seven sixteenths by sixteenths bolt. Yeah. Anyway, too small a boat. Bolt. If I could talk. But then you can only put a seven sixteenth bolt through there, so I don't know. Anyway, it's coming off. One way or the other, it's got to come off. So let me like stand on my head and see if I can't get this off. See if that thing turns. I'm gonna use this. See what happens. <laughs> I got it. Grab it in. All right, so now that's loose. And uh, get her wrench back, maybe. Maybe. Oh. Doesn't matter why I'm doing this. You know, if it helps somebody, great. If it doesn't, you don't like it. I don't know, you can still do me a favor and watch till the end. Because uh, the algorithm, for whatever reason, really likes that. Because I guess it knows that people are watching it like it. Probably gotta get these out, get a pry bar, get a big pry bar, and then inspect this transom. I think uh, I knocked him out with a hammer and a, ch and a punch. Hammer and a punch. Yeah, generally, I think on my analytics, it says that most people watch around, I don't know, it's been about eight minutes. And then I guess they jump off, so maybe I'm not that interesting, I don't know. But uh, I, get, I do know, like, if, if you watch it all the way through, then they, they tend to like that, I guess. Is what I'm saying. I guess the YouTube algorithm likes it when you watch more than eight minutes. But I try to make it interesting, but I don't know. It's kind of an ongoing battle because you know, you know. Well, I don't even know if I can get the hammer in there. That's what I mean. You got to stand on your freaking head to do this. And unfortunately, they have. Yeah, I gotta get a smaller hammer. I mean, I bought a big old hammer out here. I don't know what I was thinking. Of. This is Grandpa Hawkins' hammer. I almost said Chandler. Hawkins Chandler. I don't know why. That was weird. Anyway, that's Grandpa Hawkins' little, you know, hammer, so. I'm gonna try that. I don't need anything real special. I mean, it's got a hickory handle, man. I think that's hickory or oak. I don't know. I don't know. I know it's old. It's real old. All right, now let me see if I can get the bolts out of there. Yeah, I don't know what size that is. That's a, I don't know. It's not, it's not a good, not a good deal. Ah. All right. So now that I got those out of there, I'm gonna put it up there. 
All right. So next thing I gotta get, I gotta get, I don't wanna have to go that high. He's gonna need a new steering kit. All right, I need, what do I need? I need to put this up and then need a couple another crescent. I need a little, 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 little. I need another uh, crescent wrench because I've got to get, I got to get this other, whoa, I got to get that off. I'll show you. i show you. All right. Got one. Ugh. Yeah, just put one of these here. I don't know, should we put some? Guess I'll do this. You can see this is cracked. There's steering cables. Like he needs a new steering cable. You know? Uh, it seems like it didn't really turn before. So you could do just this cable. <laughs> With these tracker bugs, man, I, I, I'm saying that's probably bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't you know? We're gonna try and see if this will turn. You take your stereo wheel, turn it. Let's see if that. See if that'll come out of there. You see what I'm saying? Our little steering knuckle. See, it seized. Yeah. Yeah, this is, he's gonna need a new, he's gonna need a new steering cable, I believe. It's really super hard to turn. It is turning, but that's not, it's not good. Oh, it probably never loosen up. That's about as far as it'll go. Yeah, that's super tight. You never be able to drive this boat. All right, he's gonna need a new steering wheel. Or a new, not a new steering wheel. Not a new steering wheel, I'm sorry. He's gonna need a new, uh, high, you know, like a manual. Like he'd probably do the cable. I'll look underneath there and see. I wonder that bad, man. Usually the box is bad. You know, I don't know. We can look at it and see, but you can see like this is, when they're cracked like this, it's probably, yeah, it's not gonna, it's not good. It's not good. Anyway, let's pull this off of here. Let's see, come on out of there. Float it there and get it out of here. Yeah, it's broken. So yeah, we can just cut that. Uh, well, well I'm, I'm sorry. Just kind of trying to do it, but that's an old line that goes for like a speedometer, speedo tube, uh, which somebody put on there after the fact, or they took it out of the dash. I don't know what they did. But it's uh, the remnants. The remnants are down here. Right? So I'm just going to cut it off. That's what I'm going to do. And then we should be able to float this. She's free now. Anyway. And put it somewhere really like to put it over there on that like find a place over here somewhere to lay it down okay so this is good for now i'm gonna figure out where i'm gonna put this thing 
maybe I put it here. I'm gonna have to move some stuff around. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a little bit of a process. And uh, then I got this other one over here that I'll lift up and I think we're gonna have to look at that steering real good before we put the other motor on there because um, it's gonna need a new steering. Um, it's just never gonna work. And we also need to look at this uh, transom real good because I mean, it looks like they they really did a job on this guy. Wow. They put an extra piece of sheet uh, metal back here, I guess, to help secure it. I'll clean it up, but I, don't, I believe this is bad. I don't, I don't believe that's going to be any good or not. Let me show you. Let me put this lid down. And you guys, while I'm sitting here thinking about it, you can look at this. And, I could try to turn this and see what it does. There's some things I can do. I can go ahead and get all this cabling through here and stuff, but yeah, that's tight. See, this is seized. I mean, it's moving, but it's barely moving. Sometimes the kink really messing up too. I mean, it's barely. Yeah, that's thing seized. Thing is seized up. All right, FedEx is here. Let's see what we got. It's like Christmas. All right, I'm gonna. I guess the next thing to do really is to lay in the boat try to figure out what's going on with that steering system and then, you know we got to do that because we've got to pull the cable to know what length to order you can't just go oh i'm gonna go get a new steering system you go in there and you order one you gotta pull it out and measure it and see what you're Got to see what you're working with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 